Hello my dear children, how are you all? I hope all are good at hand. So dear children, we all believe in values, right? Yes, moral values. We all should like to practice that in our life. But in some situations, some of us may lose it. Unknowingly it happened. We are maybe we are not aware of it. I'm not blaming you we, I'm telling we, not you. We sometimes in some occasions, in some situations, Sometimes we may lose our values. But if you realize that we had done something wrong, we shouldn't have attitude to correct it. As we all to arrest human, but to forgive is divine, isn't it? Yeah. So we should forgive others. Same manner, we should try to correct ourselves. If we can do it, definitely, we have that inbuilt values in us. So, to live in a society, to live, to lead a healthy social life, we all should have certain values. So children, definitely you are in a growing stage. So you should inculcate some values within you. So as a teacher, I would like to be a part of it. So we can do it that together. Doesn't mean that I believe that I have all the values within me and uh, I don't do anything wrong. I cannot assure you that. But still, as I told you earlier, to err is human. But definitely, we should try to find out our own fault, if any, and try to correct it. And I believe I have that attitude. And I want you, my children, to have such attitude within you. Okay, children. So, now, we, as we all believe, we know that our life is a journey. And we, what we are going to find out, we are going to discover something. That's very important. We are going to discover something. So while we are discovering something, we all know that what is actually happening. Yes, we are finding out some hidden qualities in our, hidden qualities within us. Yeah, same time, if we are discovering some hidden qualities, same time, we are going to find out some, you know, shortcomings. You know what is meant by shortcomings? some negativities that lie within us. So we can correct it also. No one can say that I'm perfect. We can't say that. All have got imperfections. First we understand our imperfections, then we can try to correct it and we can lead a happy life. Okay, children, yes. So as I told you, if you're discovering something and we may not know how, you know, uh, able we are, how qualified we are, how, uh, you know, how rich we are in the thoughts and all. After doing something only, after our, then we will understand it. But as we all know, we all have thoughts, isn't it? Thoughts, thoughts, thoughts. Every time it comes to our mind, it's an uninvited guest. Hope you agree with me. Thoughts are uninvited guest. We are doing something, if you are sitting simply, while we are sleep, doing uh, sleeping, every time no annoyingly thoughts enters. It may be positive as well as negative. First we try, we cannot say that, we cannot say that I don't want to get any negative thoughts. We can't. Because no, it's a part. If one positive is there, definitely negative also should be there. But what we should do, we should try to inculcate, we should try to give importance to the positive thoughts in our life. Try to say goodbye to the negativities. Then we can lead a happy and healthy life. Okay, children. So now I want you to open your MS textbook and just take page number eight. Okay, yes. First chapter deals with creative and positive thinking. When I say the term creative, I know many of you have that creativity, isn't it? Almost all of us are creative. But many of us believe that I don't know. I don't have creativity. No, I don't have. Please don't say that to me because I'm not creative. I can't do something. You know, actually, what is this creativity? Yes, making something new that somebody, someone has not yet done that. Something new, if you are thinking, if you're doing something, we can call it as what creativity. And creative and positive thinking. If you want to do something creatively, do you need positive or negative thinking? Yes, absolutely right. We have positive thinking. We should have positive thinking. If we have only negative thoughts in our mind, you know, children, we can't succeed in our life. Every time, no. If you're planning to do something, if negative thoughts enter 
our mind we can't complete it perfectly yes so i would like to say a small example here so just look at the textbook imagine for a moment that you are walking down a laundry road you wish to reach your destination by a particular time however to your dismay no you find a big boulder blocking your path in the picture you can see that a big stone because you want to go somewhere and you are in a hurry to go there then what happened you see a big boulder or big rock piece blocking your path you will have to find a way to get back on track to reach your goal but no one is there to help you you want to reach your destination you want to reach the goal your aim is far far away you want to go there but what is preventing you from doing that yes a big rock or boulder is there you want to cross it yes what would you do in such a situation hope you understand the scenario when you are uh, just want to go somewhere and you are just walking in meanwhile what did you see yeah you saw a big boulder blocking the path and you are alone but at any cost you should reach your destination here are some solutions that may probably run through your mind of course many of you have some thoughts immediately many of you have thought something isn't it yeah first one opinion one go around the boulder yeah it's a big boulder so yeah you can just go around it second option climb over the boulder that also possible climbing lever it up to make space for you to pass you just lift it up fourth option break the boulder into smaller bits just cut it into smaller bits last option shout for help because you are alone so you want to get someone's help so you need it so these are the five options i would like to put forward before you so you can you are supposed to think and you should feel what option you select that's it what option you are going to select if you are in such a situation whether you go around the boulder or you whether you climb over the boulder or lever up to make up space for you to pass break the boulder into smaller pieces or cry for help that's up to you then if you think think about that situation you have time to think then reach a conclusion what you will do or you have if any other choices you are having but our aim is to reach our destination yeah you need to reach a goal same thing happens in our life also don't think that our life is full of bed of roses thorns are also there so you should understand if you see roses so beautiful isn't it and you know smell smell rose smells also nice but when we touch rose you should see that it has got thorns also so if you want to accept something good in our life along with that you should expect some negativities or some setbacks also then only you know our life will be complete if all the time it is light will you understand the importance of light no because how oh, how do you understand the light is important yes that's it because darkness darkness and light is opposite likewise happiness and gloom or sadness is just two parts of a coin if you want to live in this world you should accept these two okay yes now look the options are many finding the most suitable solution to any given challenge or obstacle with the resources available is what proves your ingenuity or creativity that is actually your creativity you, the choice that you do or the choice you select, select that time that can prove your ingenuity or your creativity a creative person can have more choices to reach the goal but a person who doesn't want to think about it a person who does not have any positive thinking cannot reach the goal of course he may reach but no his way or path should be too too difficult but a person who is creative he can suggest some options he can he can cross all the obstacles in the life then he can reach the what the correct destination because now you are in that younger age you have a lot of aims right yes if someone asks you what do you want to become in your life yes, you have different different aims you know uh, uh, you know the previous day you had attended a seminar they also so suppose suggested that you should have aim isn't it for that no you should work hard you should have creative thinking you should have positive that's very very important if positive thinking is there definitely you should be creative 
that makes you that makes your mind calm and quiet and definitely you can think in a positive manner that can result in what creativity all of us want to be successful in life i mean right is there anybody who likes to lead a unsuccessful life no all are living isn't we all are living in this world to be happy to be successful success may be different for different individuals some would like to make more money some like to get good job some like to be you know uh, want to be happy all the time some like to help others is it so the happiness or the success success means it is different for indiv different individuals my definition for success is different from yours it both all you know we are all are different individuals and our thoughts are different our ambitions are different our you know likes are different so meanwhile you know the uh, way we define our success also differs how are to be truly successful one has to be creative that term is repeatedly they are telling creative creative creativity is the ability to use our imagination and seek original ideas that is it anyone can copy anyone else's idea that's very simple isn't it copying somebody else's idea but is that creativity real creativity definitely not real creativity lies in what our ability to think something new or create something new we are all gifted with the power of imagination we all are imagine imaginative isn't it daytime we are imagining imagining something at night we are imagining while you are attending the class maybe you may imagine something while you are eating the food you are eating some sorry imagine something so that is quite natural you must have noticed how very small children exhibit tremendous imagination example that this leads them to draw pictures with no inhibition whatever whatsoever or fred skies and purple rivers or to make mud sculptures of creatures with two heads and five hands if i ask you to draw or um, maybe a picture of a cat or a dog then you have a my you have an idea of cat and dog in your mind so you draw accordingly isn't it whether it may be good or bad but you know or uh, the legs it is having or the hands it is having or the you know tail whether it is having tail or not so the color and all and if i ask you to draw the sky then you know absolutely what's the color of the sky maybe you can uh, white or maybe it's like blue if sunset time and sunrise time slight color changes are there but if i ask the same question to a child maybe uh, two three years no definitely he can imagine because no inhibition is there nothing is there to prevent that boy or girl from drawing the picture they are not aware what others say about it they may draw a red sky orange sky you know violet sky and if i ask you to ask them to draw the you know every word they may give you know orange color water that's it that imagine why they have wild imagination that is it but as we start to grow definitely you know you are you have inhibition something is trying to prevent us from doing what we are doing yes something is holding us back we may always feel that what others think if i do this what others say if i draw a picture like this what others say you know, if i uh, sing a song if i dance you know some are there you know always to criticize me if i speak in english proper if i speak in english you know someone they are listening and they may make fun of me likewise we have lot of so many of us have a lot of what concerns what others think what others think what others think if you're always worried about what others think definitely we can't do anything if if someone think that no yeah i do what make me happy that's it what makes me happy i do it if it doesn't hurt others absolutely then we can't do it we can't do it if i if you draw a picture of a sky or a sky with a, a pink or bluish pink color no nothing is wrong in it that's exhibit your imagination only yes the sky is the limit to their imagination sadly as one grows up we are trained to curb cut our imagination and gradually this beautiful quality is blunted to dullness gradually no we stop thinking about something new we like to imitate what others are doing whatever we do many many not i'm not talking about all many of us have got the habit of doing that try to imitate others then they we may feel that no then okay i don't want to do something new then no one if i do something new only no i want to hear you no know, criticisms or complaints or you know some may laugh at me if i do something new if i do the same thing someone else is doing no one is there to criticize me 
No. So we are in a safe zone. Once we leave our safe zone only, we can do something new. Especially in your age, definitely. In all age, okay. Now, because you are a growing age, your imagination is at the peak now. So try to use it. Let us try one moment to rekindle, rekindle the imaginative powers within us. Imagine the blank square, your next page to be your imagination canvas. Go ahead. Tickle your imagination and unleash your creativity. That is it. Tickle it. Tickle it, your imagination. You have enough in you. One thing, just you want to do it. You just what? Just, yeah. Tickle it. Tickle it. Yeah. Yeah. Please, please. And unleash your, just open your creativity to the whole world. You are free to express your creativity in any way you wish. You can sketch, paint, write a poem, make a paper collage or graffiti. The possibilities are endless. As you can use your creativity, the, this, this limit is endless. You know, sky is the limit. You can't say, you can't say, no, yeah, uh, this is my, my limit of creativity, my limit of imagination. We can't say, I can't say, you can't say, because no, it is endless. The one thing you need is that the thought, that positive thought, I can do, that only matters, nothing else. Be inspired. Creativity and a positive attitude go hand in hand. Yeah, from the beginning onwards, I have been telling that. Creativity and positive attitude, both should go hand in hand. If creative, positive attitude is not there, no creativity. If you want to do something creative, then you should have a, you should have a positive attitude. An optimistic approach to life enhances, this increases our creativity and helps us express it meaningfully. Failures do not get optimist down. Instead, it energizes them to make the best use of their creativity and find a solution to any given problem. Definitely, you know, as I told you in the beginning, we need to face so many, you know, setbacks or, you know, uh, failures in our life. Don't think that failure is the end of everything. Fall and rise, that is it. Definitely, you should. You know, our, some our leaders and all, no, definitely, they have do something, they have done something after, you know, facing a lot of failures in their life. So you should think, you should understand that. Failure is not the end of anything. It's the beginning of something that you are going to achieve in your life. A person with a positive attitude not only contributes to his own growth, but also help the people around him bloom. That's a very important thing. You have experience you knows when we speak with some people, definitely we get positive energy, isn't it? But when we speak with some other group of people, you know, they are spreading negativity only. I can't, you can't. Every time they used to say the same. But some are there around us, no? Do it, do it. You can, you can. That positivity in their smile, in their body language, in their gestures, they all awoke. A quick one, positivity in you also. So try to be a person like this, to spread positivity among others. That is very important. Each success story is a fine balance of talent. Absolutely, it is needed talent, creativity, hard work. That's very important. And optimism. That is it. What is optimism? What is optimistic attitude? Yes, always happens something good only, thing like that. At the end, the result will be good. I will succeed. That is the optimistic attitude you should have. Not you. We should have that in our life. Here are some examples of people who have found this balance in life and change the future. So children, next class onwards, we are going to discuss the stories of such leaders. Definitely, many of you have read about such personalities. Many of you experienced it. Many of you already started trying to do that. So definitely. So yeah, definitely. So please. Try to be positive all the time. Have a positive attitude in our life. Now also, you no. Know, nowadays we are having your all shut in our own houses, isn't it? So take that opportunity in a positive manner. Use your creativity. Use your imagination. So children, until we meet in the next class, it's bye from me. Take care. Be positive. Bye.